I love I love green bean. Green beans. <gasps> Do you like the green beans? Yeah, they're Kentucky wonders. <laughs> okay, Dad, are you ready for the green beans? You ready? Okay, that's that's ready for green beans. Mmm. Green beans. That good, Dot? You like the green bean? Green bean. We uh, ordered some wood chips to put on the garden, and there uh, they are. We're gonna see if we can get an 18 wheeler in the driveway. Hey babies. Yeah, what are you doing? Dobby, come here, buddy. <laughs> I'm used. I bet you won't run off it. <laughs> you want me to try? Yeah. Oh my god. Is that okay? Here we go, baby. <laughs> it's just like hiking, right? Yeah. <laughs> so great. 
<laughs> Gotta get to the top. Go right, go. <laughs> Yay, baby! <laughs> we did it. That's Monumental. Cool. That's pretty awesome. The little wood chip mountain. Getting down might be the hard part. Yeah, I think I'll do that off camera. <laughs> nope. <laughs> You're committed. <laughs> Side too. Very cool view up here. Wow. Oh, Alababy. They're not amused. It is dangerous. Alright, let's see the descent. Do a little switch back at it. There you go. My girl's been places. I can't believe uh, Boone is not up here. Yeah. A little worried about him. Must be sick. <laughs> if you want green veggies, you might have to rough it. Cause when you get up to the great big buffet, there's piles of mushrooms and okra to see. Big old mountains of broccoli, but all you're gonna see from golden brown. Let's try that again. But all you're gonna see <laughs> is golden brown. They've all been fried for miles around. Crazy as so get these wood chips in uh, some probably two weeks ago some this week they're coming in and I'm excited I've got like my little video camera out I'm like oh wood chips yeah hooray I'm videoing as it like the conveyor belt comes out and it's like slowly birthing a gajillion wood chips and the walk-in floor the whole time. I'm excited about wood chips. And then, this is what happens. Here's the wood chip mountain. In all its glory. But now, everybody, I've got to shovel these things. Who likes wood chips now? There's a ranger. There's the den I've made so far of about mm, an hour. Today's a, uh, an interesting day. Uh, it seems like a lot of things that we've been waiting for and planning for have all kind of uh, come together in a very, very short amount of time, um, which is great and exciting and uh, really picks up the pace, which can uh, go from slow to fast to slow to fast real fast. Um, what I mean here is that uh, I'm getting these piles of compost delivered from a, across the street. Uh, my neighbor bought his place about when we bought ours and it's a, uh, a lot of cows over there and he pushed all of the kind of year old grass and cow droppings into a pile 
and he was looking for somewhere to put it. And I said, hey, I like it. One man's trash, as they say. Um, so we knew for a while we we're going to try to put this in the uh, in the high tunnel there. Um, if you, we <coughs> had a hill that we wanted to, to build on, or more like a ditch, is what I mean. And so we had to put that uh, fill dirt across the bottom of it. Uh, you see that light brown stuff. It's clay and sand, uh, packed down really hard. So we knew we couldn't really plant into that. Uh, we're going to bust it up. And we're going to throw this stuff on top of it, and then some more compost on top of that before we turn into rows. Uh, maybe that'll build it up enough so we could plant some stuff. But there's a pile. There's a pile. It's about three, so they're about maybe 15 to 20 over there. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. November and we had last night the first frost of the year if you look over here we uh, dressed all our raised beds up as ghosts for Halloween we laid row cover all over the top of them which is done well weeds are still growing and next to it we've got our wood chips that we've we're still in the process of moving out so we moved it from the this gigantic pile right here that was probably up to about there um, and moved them all out there now it's we've been in the process of shoveling them in the wheelbarrows and kind of wheeling it down the rows uh, we'll get back to that very soon here you can see the kind of damage of what frost has done at the first look at those sad tomatoes they were sad anyway because the worms got them. Oh, they're real sad. 
drooping down. Those rows are filled out. We've got to get them planted with another uh, layer of spinach. Other things are going to go there. And past this here, as you can see, got a floating row cover. Uh, that we put in last night. I would have taken a video, but the phone was charging. Ain't that the way it goes? You see right here, we've got uh, two rows under each one. These are 10 foot row covers. Um, you can kind of see in here, look under the skirt. There's a couple rows. Those are our baby kale that are coming in on this row right here. saved them too that's pretty cool so we'll have this greenhouse working we got it finished by the guys at tubular solutions um, a couple of weeks ago we got to get electricity run to it so we can work the heater in the fam we need a propane tank for it uh, to work the heater and we got to get it wired up which we don't have the time or the knowledge to do Hopefully it'll come soon. Hopefully somebody will come through. We had a big storm last week that knocked out power all over Chickasaw County. So most electricians are working to get people's power back on, which you know, I guess is all right for them. But I sure would like to have a greenhouse working. High tunnel. We've got the dirt spread out over there. It's nice composty. Um, topsoil and manure from um, across the street that's been sitting there for a few years. That, uh, it looks really, really nice. I think the most interesting part right now in this kind of transitional period of seasons and, and work that we're doing is to see um, kind of these pieces of the farm that are once booming kind of start deflating a little bit. This this plastic area too and the one on the other side of it right there where our, where our watermelons were over the summer uh, and they were kind of wild and all over the place and now to see nothing there is somewhat interesting the okra <laughs> which had been producing until yesterday pretty much just now over there just kind of folded over here we've got the these green beans these yard longs which are really pretty. They're starting to slump over, turn brown. The leaves kind of have this gloss, gloss to them. These sunflowers, which we planted way too late, have kind of hauled over, slumped over. Let's mention the ones behind us. So it's not just the garden that's kind of stuck between two times we've kind of find ourselves in that same situation in the past uh, month or so of uh, wanting to move forward and, and build this farm as uh, an image that we, we want to build it in but also having to wait um, to you know, get our living spaces in order and get our high tunnel and greenhouse going so we can finally have a little more control over growing seeds same times we had the same time we had worms um, get our transplants that we're gonna put in for fall so we didn't get to plant very much for this time of year so that means we haven't been able to be at uh, at farmers markets really at all in the past month um, instead we've been focusing our time on trying to get ready for winter and be really conscious about um, next year so that uh, we can stay in steady production throughout the year so yeah uh, that's it thank you for watching we uh, will try to be back a little more regularly and a little more focused in our clips uh, but make sure you subscribe make sure you like and see you next time